I came here in 62 to come to the graduate school, fell in love with the magnificent trees along the Indian Hill Boulevard. My mother was in the car and she said, do you like it? I said, I like it. So we went into the administration building and I said, I really like the college here and I'd like to come here. And she said, wonderful. And I said, so I'll, you can sign me up. And she said, oh, you have to apply. We didn't have a graduate art building at the time. And so we worked in the classes with the undergraduates and it was primarily at Scripps. And so that's where we lucked out. It was because it was a beautiful campus and beautiful setting. And there was the seal courtyard with the big <laughs> pond and the seal fountains. And we'd have coffee there in the morning. And it was just heavenly. The camaraderie was thick, as was the bull. I can remember after two years of just having such a wonderful time, I thought I better ask to be advanced to candidacy because you were supposed to, you know. And Stewart said, uh, but Barbara, you haven't done enough work. I haven't seen enough. And I thought, oh dear. And then I went back to my little house on 11th Street, which was crammed. And I thought, I've done most of it here because there wasn't that much room for all the students in the classroom. And so I went back and I said, Mr. Stewart, would you mind? I just live a block away, you know, to come over and see the work that I have there. And he said, couldn't you bring it here? I said, not too easily. And so he came and he said, oh my God. You know, and I had the largest MFA show going. I think there was 65 paintings and sculptures and it was wonderful and the place was packed and I got my MFA degree. Some architects had remodeled a building in downtown Claremont and they said they thought it would make a nice gallery and they, they said then whom would you like as an art director? Can you suggest someone? Said, yeah, no. And so they you know, said well is there anybody you know? And then they said, well, Bear Titch, you'd be good because you know people. I said, well, that doesn't mean I want to be an art de dealer. And they said, yeah, but you're the only one that knows anybody. And then they hammered away and then I said, okay, okay, I'll do it for three months and we can keep looking for somebody to, you know, run the place. By the time we got through with the show, I was fairly credible. And I thought nothing of it, because I just thought, you know, this is the way it is. And what the joke was, I didn't realize we were out selling Los Angeles and practically New York. <laughs> Might have to have some extra cards printed. Those in the arts flocked here. It was an art center from the beginning, and in that first batch of artists was Millard Sheets. Phil Dyke, Paul Darrow, and it was a stampede to come to Claremont, and artists like to mingle together, and they mingled, and forthwith the students followed, and they're still coming. <laughs>